Good morning, Battleborners. How are you all doing out there? So today we're going to be having a look at Galia. Galala? Galia? Galala? I'm not sure how you say <laughs> in our character overview, guys. So this gal is actually very, very useful as a character. She's actually one of the only characters to actually have a update to her skills and everything in the latest patch, which I go over in my other video. So if you're not sure what's actually happened to her, go on to my other video and you can have a look and see exactly what has actually happened to her in the past week. So a territorial brawler. She is very useful in team fights. She is quite complex to play though, so it's going to take you a few rounds to actually get used to playing her. When you get do get used to her though, I've seen people tear through enemy teams with this character, so she is really, really powerful. So her skill one is her shield throw, so she'll chuck her shield at someone. You can actually upgrade this with your helix later on to actually hit multiple targets as well. Really, really useful. It does take a bit of getting used to though, because you've got to hit someone dead on with it. When you do, you do deal a bit of damage to them, but you also stun them for two seconds, which obviously gives you a little bit of time to get into their face and deal some serious damage to them, or it gives you time to get away from them. So both quite a versatile skill, really. Skill two is Desecrate, so underneath the ground, um, underneath the ground, underneath her feet on the ground, she unleash this area of effect, which amplifies damage in the um, in the uh, the area to all the enemies stood within it for eight seconds so really really useful in team fights if you can get right into the middle of an enemy team unleash this one unleash a shield throw you're going to be doing a fairly decent amount of damage very very quick her ultimate is her bizzle form which is a really useful skill so she explodes in stark energy dealing damage over time to people but she's also gaining health every time she's or every second she's in this form which is really useful because you're dealing a fairly decent amount of damage to people whereas you're also healing yourself up as well so really really useful so a passive is corruption so attacking and using skills accelerates uh, Galilea's corruption which deals up to 28 damage per second and steals enemy and uh, steals health from enemies nearby so what this is corruption is the skill that she uses which every enemy around her is being damaged per second so really really useful in team fights especially if you can keep attacking using skills and get this buff right up as uh, as far as you can you can deal a serious amount of damage to people without even having to use any of your skills or attacks which is really useful going down our helix she's best suited as a hybrid character you want to be upgrading her skills but also her default attack. So just have a look down through the helix. Play it, like I said, play it for a couple of rounds and then you'll know which skills are best suit your playstyle. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to jump into a game just like every other character. I'm going to show you a few of her skills and we'll see how we get on. <laughs> 